So, do you remember yesterday, uh, I made that series of caches, and I tried to get them submitted. Um, well, apparently, for a mystery cache, which is the type that they are, or puzzles, uh, they have to be able to be solved from all the information provided on the cache page. And because it's, uh, you have to find number one to find number two, you have to find number two to find number three, so once you get to uh, number three, four, and five, uh, you can't just get it from the information on that page. You have to go back one, and then to get the fifth one, you have to go to four, then three, then two, then one. So they said he couldn't post it that way. So there was some other things I had to do to make it work right. And I sent him an email, and hopefully uh, issues are resolved, and I can get them published. But uh, anyway, that's an update on those. And hopefully they'll be good in a couple of days. Um, well, it's been raining a lot, and today and yesterday it was actually sunny, kind of sunny, so the grass is growing fast, so I cut grass again today. Just a regular day, didn't really do anything much interesting, but... So I got this comment on my video yesterday, and a guy said, uh, make real videos, and I was, I was thinking about that. Um, there's different ways to quantify a video to be real. Um, I guess you could say it's not real in the sense that it's all it is is electronic data. So it's stored on a magnetic disk of ones and zeros, which are interpreted into pulses of light and audio vibrations. Those light pulses and vibrations are interpreted by your eyes and your ears by your brain to create the video so in that sense it's not real it's just made up by your brain it's how your brain interprets it so uh, I'm not sure if in that way I can make a real video um, I don't have the equipment to make it tangible, physically tangible, maybe that's what you mean by a real video, not electronic data, but actually something you can touch and hold, which would mean making it on film, like actual film, and exposing it and developing it. Uh, I don't have the equipment to do that, so I can't, in that sense, make a real video. Um, I can only make electronic uh, bits of ones and zeros of encoded video, but um, if you're talking about content, it's not a real video because the content isn't interesting or uh, whatever. Um, that's not a real or fake or whatever the opposite of real is, real or non-real video. Um, that's just genre and video content preference. Um, if you don't think that a video of just daily life is real, um, you can watch anything else. I mean, it's YouTube. There's over 24 hours of video uploaded every minute or something crazy like that. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I think this video is more real than, um, say, a movie with special effects and all this other stuff. I mean, this is what I am actually doing in the day. It's like, just, I'm not trying to do any special effects or anything like that. Whatever happens, I record it and I edit it, and if people want to watch it, then that's fine. So, those of you that do, awesome. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I've been, almost been making a video every day for a year, and uh, I enjoy making it, so, anyway, today's video is just going to be this, because just felt like I had to say something about that comment, oh yeah, also, two people were arguing back and forth, one guy was trying to defend me, and they're both just insulting each other, you don't need to do that, I'll see you guys tomorrow then, alright, bye. -bye.